Hello, Capricorn. So this will be a general reading for the sign of Capricorn. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Do not force this message to fit. We will see what messages come out for you all. Uh, please remember to hit the like button and um, subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support and I send it right back to you guys. With that being said, let's see what messages Spirit has for you guys. So, heading into, you guys will come into, we're still in November, but going towards the end of December, we'll be heading into Capricorn season. It's like good energy. Um, Conclusions are within reach. Hold your vision. Don't let your past hold you back. So, hold your vision. Don't let your past hold you hold you back. Um, con conclusions are within reach. So, don't let your past hold you back. So, I'm getting that there's a situation. you guys are moving forward um, from. And there will be the past resurfacing and when it resurfaces, you guys are being advised not to feed into the situation, but to keep um, moving forward Hold your vision. Like whatever you guys are dreaming about, know that you guys are more than capable of achieving this. Conclusions are within reach. So whatever you guys are worried about, you're stressing about, know that it's about to be resolved. Take action where action is due. Also, um, if you guys are being offered help or you guys know, like if you guys have, like people have offered help, um, like guidance, constructive criticism, but I'm also getting like help. It's like if people are offering, offering you help, it's like don't be too prideful. Like seek help, you know, the resources that you need. Solitude, temptation, third eye, Sagittarius also got this, and harmony. So you guys could be in the process of like right now, I'm getting that like you're I'm going to say like I was getting like isolating yourself, but it's not to the point. It's like not healthy, but the only reason why you guys are like isolating yourself is because I'm getting that you guys are um, studying something. You're um, researching something. You're learning something. You're enhancing your skill. So it's like you're seeking enlightenment. Whatever you're learning, you're enhancing your skill and it's going to benefit you in the near future. It's going to pay off in the near future towards a skill that you guys are learning. And you don't want to, you don't want any distractions at this time. So it's all a part of this vision that you guys are holding on to um, because you guys know that the conclusions are within reach. I am getting that you guys will receive the help that you need. Um, don't let the past hold you back. So it does look like you guys will be resisting some temptation that will be coming in for you. I am saying that something tempting will be resurfacing for you guys. And you guys will need to resist the urge 
to feed into this situation, whether it's something that may trigger some anger within you and you guys will need to turn away from this situation or maybe it may trigger some passion. May You guys may have to resist the urge to reach out to like a particular person that's trying to draw you back into a situation. But you're being asked to um, allow yourself to be guided by your intuition. Because you guys are receiving the signs, the guidance that you need at this time. If you go within I am seeing you guys definitely receiving um, the help that you need, the love, the balance, the harmony. People want to see you guys. Um, it's like you guys are attracting the right people in your life at this current moment. They want to see you achieve the success. You guys are attracting a lot of love into your life. And I'm seeing for some of you guys um, attracting your soulmate into your life, but needing to resist any past connections that were toxic, um, turning away from any toxic behaviors that no longer serve you. Yeah, using your wisdom, your discernment, because there's a really bright future ahead of you. But using your discernment when it comes to the relationships in your life. Who you allow in your life in this new chapter that you guys are entering into. I'm saying that you guys will be um, definitely using your wisdom. It's like looking within a person. Taking the time to truly look within. It's like having this, like having the ability, like having that spiritual gift of discernment. Where it's like in the past, you guys felt like you didn't know. But it's like now you guys are developing that spiritual gift, that um, ability. You guys are learning to discern. So it's like, in the past, you feel like you were easily deceived. You were misled um, by a lot of people who fooled you into believing that they had good intentions towards you. But now you guys are learning to listen to your intuition. Your third eye is awakening. And you guys have the wisdom You guys are balancing things out in your life and connecting to the right people and attracting the right things into your life. Loneliness. I know that I am never alone. Some of you guys, it's grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So it's like some of you guys are going through that period of loneliness, grief, um, and then acceptance. Regret as well. I'm really getting... Because ultimately, it's leading to your success. I know that there is no greater, greater goal than to love. Some of you guys, this is leading to a relationship, but I'm definitely getting that all that you guys have been through is ultimately leading to your success. Um, but some of you guys are going through a period of solitude, loneliness. Um, you guys 
are, if some of you guys are grieving the loss of a relationship. You guys are the loss of relationships I'm getting. Whether it's jobs, friendships, family, um, partnerships, relationships, romance. But you're learning to accept that it's, if it's just no longer meant to be in your life, um, it's just no longer meant to be in your life, you know? And so you're done crying, you know, grieving. You're learning to accept what no longer serves you in order to move forward. So, you know, with regret here, I know that I cannot change the past. So along with that acceptance, it's like knowing that you cannot accept the past. So it's like you're no longer dwelling over the past. You're allowing yourself to re release that regret that you guys were holding on to. But I'm also picking up like a third party here. Someone that's like harboring onto some regret that they have, that they want to come back around and express. I am getting this one. angel of strength so you guys and then action and reverse the sun in reverse and walking away you guys have envy in reverse So I'm seeing you guys being blessed with the strength to walk away from what no longer makes you happy. It's like whatever's not um, progressing, it's like whatever's not progressing in your life, whatever's not because I'm seeing it's like whatever is causing stagnancy in your life and whatever is causing unhappiness in your life, you guys are now having the strength to walk away from it. Um, and it's also, it's like, because I'm saying that you guys were around some people that were envious of, they were envious of you and now you guys are removing yourself from those energies because you're walking away from whatever environment you guys were around. Sage, be devoted and committed. So it's definitely something that you guys are currently learning um, that you need to be fully devoted and committed to. I'm saying that you guys are fully devoted and committed to, um, that you guys are currently like isolating yourself from because uh, it's requiring your full attention at this time. Autumn, release the old and rest. So... You guys have autumn and spring. So whatever is about to occur here, because we're we're currently in what winter time? We're not in fall anymore, are we? Have we fully entered winter or are we still in um 
fall. Maybe we are still in fall. Um, I'm getting that you guys will fully see your results like in between this time. Okay, let's go into tarot. Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. So realizing that you guys do have the ability to manifest what you want. And I'm saying that you guys are, it's like you guys have been putting in a lot of work towards manifesting this. So it's like now you guys are waiting patiently for your fruits to manifest. Um... But you continue, in the meantime, to put forth the work to manifesting your dreams into reality. But you're being patient. You're being patient as you continue to put forth the work towards these dreams that you guys have. So your challenge here is the Hierophant and the Sun. So, your challenge is, it has something to do with learning, it's your wisdom, your values, your traditions, it's And these are two major arcana cards, so it is very significant. What's challenging you is very significant. So the sun not only speaks of like your happiness, um, it also represents clarity, um, remaining optimistic. about what's so remaining positive about your what's what I'm getting is what's important to you and what's important to you is your connection with so the hierophant the priest the hierophant is connection to spirit they the hierophant is um it represents the connection between man and um spirit so the priest will be who you go to to seek guidance it's wisdom so you are, your challenge is to know your challenge. Okay, I get it. I get it. Some of you guys could be um, like spiritual, um, like gifted spiritually. And this is what I'm getting. So your challenge is to know for sure about your gift, not to question it, to know for sure, like to stop questioning your talent, to know for sure that you are like, and you have both of these major arcana cards in the upright position. So your quest or your challenge is to know for sure that you are on the right track, um, that like 
like positive without a shadow of a doubt because there are no shadow like with the sun shining illuminating like this bright there are no shadows like that you know for sure because you have all the wisdom that you need you know for sure so your challenge is to stop questioning this you know for sure capricorn Whatever you're working towards, you know for sure that this is what you are meant to do. It's what you're meant to be. It's what you're meant to do. Okay. Ooh, so, ooh. Okay, so I guess all of these are supposed to come, huh? So what you guys are meant to release, you have the two of cups and the upright. So some of you guys, this could be regarding love. It could also be a partnership as well. Um, let's see, because you have two more of this spit out. So you have the world. So um, something, a cycle that came to an end. And two of swords. So something that you guys are refusing to see. So a relationship that has already ended, but you're refusing to see, you guys are refusing to see that this relationship has already ended and you need to release it. The page of wands, because you guys are hoping, some of you guys are waiting. You got, some of you guys are spying on this person and the way some of you guys are spying on this person is through tarot. Um, or you guys could be spying on through other ways, but some of you guys are spying on this person because you're waiting for good news. You're waiting for this new beginning. You guys are waiting for this person to take action towards you. One thing about the page of wands is that this person comes into your life. Um, this is a short lived romance with this person as well. When they come in, they come in and they sweep you off your feet. This is someone who likes their independence as well. Um, they do not like someone to push them into a committed relationship because they have a lot of ideas in mind. They, they have a lot of creativity and they have a lot that they want to set out to do. And they're very adventurous as well. And if they have anyone that they feel is clingy, that they feel is needy, if they have anyone that they feel is trying to um, force them into a committed relationship that they feel they'll be tied down to, they are done. So here in the recent past, you guys have the page of swords in reverse and the two of wands in reverse. So with the page of swords in reverse. So this is the page of swords in reverse and the two of wands. And then let's see on the bottom. The king of swords, was, which is the female version so needle and thread stepping into your truth so what officially occurred allows you to step in tr into your true power it allows you to see your true potential because there was a loose thread here and this allows you to capture this loose thread because we all know what happens when there's a loose thread. Um, if it goes unnoticed, then it'll ruin the entire garment. So if you don't get it, if you don't catch it within time, then it'll just keep on going, going, going until it just draws up and it's ruined. So you caught it. 
and you're, you fixed it. Because you have to realize, you realize your own worth. You stepped into your own potential. And what you're saying is like, I didn't, I don't need that person. And you're not saying that I don't need anyone, but you're saying that first I need to need myself. First, I need to be independent on my own. So this whole situation allows you to step into your full potential because it's like there was a lot of just with the page of swords in reverse here. So this can be like petty, just pettiness here. This can be someone who doesn't stand up for what's right. This can be someone who they're defensive as well. Someone who they're quite the bragger as well. They, they're a know-it-all and that's because they're immature. Um, and I mean, they are intelligent, but they use their intelligence like to benefit themselves. Like they withhold information and that's because they don't want to see anyone advance like beyond they don't want to see anyone do better than themselves. So, but what I'm getting with this is that this person was withholding information from you and what they were withholding, because this is someone like, they had a wish and their wish, like when they saw you, They saw you. When they saw you, what you didn't see. Because this person, like, they looked at you like you didn't need anyone. They saw you as someone like that was so beautiful, like, oh my, you were a dream come true. Like you were this person's wish. But they withheld that information from you. That's the information this person was withholding from you. Some of you guys met this person while you guys were in college. You guys are in college now. Or it's just this person is, you know, they're intelligent. They were just it's some immature energy about this person, but they're very smart as well. But the information that they were keeping from you is that they actually really do love, I mean, they think you are gorgeous, amazing. And the thing is, is that they just, so it's like you guys were left wondering, it's like you had all these big dreams, you had, it's like, You guys had options, but it's like you kept, the thing is, it's like you kept missing out on opportunities. There was so much I'm getting. You have so much love for this person. I'm getting, it's like you were willing to give up so, I'm not even willing, it's like you gave up so much for this person. Um, 
I'm getting there's like a decision to be made. It's like, like the decision is to get out and open yourself up to other options because this person is withholding their intentions towards you because like this is the way that they truly feel i i mean this is who you truly are and they they know this is who you truly are this is how they truly see you but this is the way they make you feel There's a big difference. And it's not okay. And you're on the verge. Like you have the world in your hands. So it's like there's an opportunity. That is about to be presented to you. And I feel like you guys have been like trying your hardest to be patient with this person. Because you guys know and that's the thing don't let your past hold you back because you guys have been allowing this person to hold you back but it's like it's time for you guys to spring forward i mean if they regret i know that i cannot change the past you can't change this past person you can't make them do anything okay what you need to ooh, you guys have the three of swords here and the five of wands the knight of swords Okay, so what you guys need to be focused on. So with the Knight of Swords here, okay, and then underneath the Knight of Swords is the Eight of Cups. So walking away from what no longer serves you. Because it's time to walk away from what no longer serves you. The opportunity or there's an opportunity that is about to come in for you guys. There is a big change that's about to come in and it's going to require you guys to take action towards it. If you guys do not take action towards it, right is worth the cost. A great many intelligent men, women who think that political equal any of i right is worth the cost what's right is worth the cost but um because this is someone and see your person did not here in the past this person that you dealt with in the past they did not stand up for well they did not stand up for what was right um you guys are being asked to walk away from what no longer serves you, what no longer fulfills you. There's a transformation that has taken place in your life because there is a big change that you guys have been asking for, you guys have been praying for, and now the universe is bringing in this change. It's like you guys are being presented with a major blessing, but it's requiring action. It's requiring you guys to be bold, brave, courageous. Um, because it's coming in like fast. But it's a big change. And the thing is, is that... You guys have here the Three of Swords.
So someone, I'm really getting that this is regarding a love situation where someone here um, is going to end up heartbroken regarding a situation. As I'm saying that, what I'm saying is that you guys, I'm saying you guys, um, here it, it looks, this must be happening fast then. This must be happening fast. There will be a situation regarding love that you guys, because you guys have the King of Cups here underneath the Eight of Cups, okay? And the thing is, is that it looks like it's two wells here. And a boat. So you guys have, it looks, You guys will be walking away from this person who played games with you. They had abandonment issues, commitment issues. It's like you no longer want to play this game with this person because you guys want real love. And because you guys make this decision to no longer play this game, not to be an active participant in this game with this person. I mean, they're going to end up being heartbroken about this decision that you guys make, but it's going to allow you guys to open yourselves up to uh, real love. Because I'm seeing that there's a decision that you guys need to make in regards to love and you guys are choosing to expand your horizon instead of even though you guys are still um you guys are still reflecting back on this past person um you guys still miss this past person but you're not going to fall for the same nonsense you're ultimately going to end up walking away from this person and you're going to um be brave you're going to take this bold um, risk and you're going to accept this challenge that's coming into your life, this challenge to accept this change and to walk away from this relationship that's been disappointing you. And you're going to end up entering into this, yeah, you're moving into this um calmer stage in your life. So it's like you guys were at this place where things were chaotic for you. It's like you guys weren't receiving the help that you needed. It's like now it's like things will be anchoring down for you. It's like a wish is coming in. It's like it was stormy. It was chaotic for you, but it's like now things are settling down for you. It's like the relationship that you guys are about to enter into. It's like this person's emotionally stable. They're going to help ground you. They're going to help settle things in your life. This is going to be a major change for you. Because some of you guys haven't been in a relationship in a long time. You guys are going to use your wisdom, your intuition, and you're not going to allow this past person to come in and uh, tempt you back into um, this toxic environment, this toxic... You, you guys are realizing you're awakening to... Yeah, so... So here in the near future, you guys have the Justice in Reverse and the Nine of Wands.
So what I'm what I'm getting it's like um because justice is like um you guys are learning to I'm getting it's like giving love another chance. It's like, even though you guys have been wounded from the past, you're giving love another chance because I'm not getting that this is your past person. Because I'm saying that it's like, you guys, I'm getting like, you used to have like, maybe your past person was like, really handsome and that's what's like really tempting about this person it's like how charming this person was um maybe they look very good on paper they were like very like seductive that's like the tempting thing about this person maybe like this new person that's coming into your life they're maybe not that seductive but they are attractive as well so you're learning not to be like over critical about um your potential partner suitors that you're entering into a relationship with because it's like you're learning because of all the scars that you guys have acquired to let's stop being over critical to stop over criticizing um to stop being superficial really that's what you're learning because someone may look good on paper. They may look good, you know, to the outside world, but on the inside, they're no good and they end up leaving you scarred and wounded and you're tired of those type of relationships. And so you're learning to stop prejudging in order to bring the right connection into your life. Because I'm seeing you guys coming into a divine union. Someone that's making you guys feel very happy. A lot of wealth and stability coming into your life. And I'm seeing that this is definitely something that's divinely guided. Because you have like message, messengers here. It's like guiding the both of you guys towards each other. So your hopes, you have the magician, and then you also have the temperance. So you guys are hoping um, to attract, if not, you guys are, your main thing is to make sure that you guys, that the person that you attract, um, this person has good intentions towards you. Um, you guys want to make sure that this is someone that treats you well. You guys don't want to have to second guess this person's intentions towards you. You guys want someone that pleasantly surprises you in all the right ways that brings balance and harmony into your life. Um, because I'm saying that you guys have worked very hard to remove like all the chaos and confusion um, that you guys were surrounded by. It's like you guys have been working on that and it's like, balancing things out in your life and you guys don't want someone to come into your life and to cause any turmoil so you guys want to make sure that you attract you guys are manifesting the right person into your life and i'm saying the king of pentacles so definitely someone that's going to come into your life um someone that has worked very hard to achieve the things that they have acquired Someone that's going to come into your life and allow this relationship to um, thrive. It's like someone that 
wants to provide for you someone that's very protective of you as well someone that will provide a lot of stability for you as well someone who has a lot of passion towards you um someone who wants a long-term commitment a provider but it's like this person, it's like um, you have not seen all the tricks up their sleeves yet. They have a lot of things that they want to. I'm definitely getting for some of you guys. This is someone that you guys know already. Some of you guys, you're still manifesting this person. Your fears is the death card and the king of wands in reverse. So this is your past person. So some of you guys your fears is your past person some of you guys could have been dealing with the scorpio but why your past person is in your fears the chariot in reverse is like not being able to overcome this person your fear is not being able to fully end this relationship it's like because the chariot in reverse talks about giving your power away to someone else so it's like do you feel like you gave your power away in a sense to this person? Do you feel like you gave your heart away to this person? And it's like you don't feel like you can give it to someone else. But the thing is, is that this person is the king of wands in reverse. So... Some of you guys, your fears is that this person will come back, that with the chariot in reverse, I was just giving someone control over a particular area in your life. And then becoming frustrated with that person because you don't like the way that they are controlling that particular area of your life. So eventually, because that, eventually that frustration turns into anger because you realize that you could do it better than how they're doing because you are meant to do it anyways because it's your life. You are destined to have control over that area. And so you, I mean, that anger turns into resentment. I mean, it just gets worse until eventually you take your power back. And you have the King of Wands in reverse here, which is also a lack of action. The Death card, which speaks of transformation, endings, and new beginnings. So your fears is giving the wrong person. You, your fear is ending this relationship and giving someone else. Your fear is that you will end this relationship with in this relationship with the person that you love and ultimately end up giving giving your um heart to the wrong person because you feel like maybe you are meant to wait for your past person so that's your fear your fear is that maybe my past person, you know, maybe I've been interpreting these messages wrong. Maybe it's not my past person. That, and then what if I end up being with 
you know, this person, they're actually, you know, the devil or, you know, maybe they're the, you know, king of wands in reverse. They're the ones that the, they're the playboy to play, you know, they're the ones that's trying to take advantage of me and I end up ending this relationship and then now I'm being taken advantage of that. So that's your fear. You have the five of cups in reverse as I split the deck. So I see you overcoming this, gaining emotional maturity. Because the thing is, is as you release these worries and you stop focusing on, um, you stop focusing on these relationships in general and you focus on yourself, you focus on your purpose, what you are meant to achieve in this lifetime, which is not this relationship, is not any of this, is what you're meant to learn, what you're meant to spiritually develop, which is at the beginning of this reading. Your relationships will naturally fall into place. But the longer you dwell on this relationship and when you find yourself becoming anxious that's when you realize you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing focus on what you love to do and that's where you're meant to be but when you find yourself becoming anxious yeah and then the five of cups came out so Stop crying over spilled milk. Stop worrying over. And then the hermit. So, I mean, stop crying over spilled milk. Stop, you know, focusing on what's what's gone, you know, emotionally because ultimately you're emotionally draining yourself. I'm saying it's like um some of you guys are it's like a light keeper for people trying to find them their way, you know. So it's like a sense of emotional maturity that's being that's developing here. Because you also have the Wheel of Fortune. So a major change is taking place. It's like something that you are destined to do, to be. And it's only a matter of time. It's like tick tock, tick tock. Something that you're very passionate about. You have the strength and the courage to do. You will be surrounded by all the love and stability that you need. All right. So in your outcome, the Six of Pentacles and the Moon. So the Six of Pentacles. So the Six of Pentacles talks about gifts um, being rewarded for. It's like finances increasing, rewards coming in, and it's like for being a blessing to others as well. So give. It's like a give, give and take relationship. Um, but it's like with the moon here, it's like something that you don't see yet. So it's like a blessing coming in that you don't see. Help coming in that you don't see yet. It's like you don't see this blessing yet. This Because I'm really getting a blessing. You don't see this blessing coming in yet. So... And Nine of Cups. 
definitely a blessing coming in for you guys. A big, it, it's like something major is on its way, but you guys don't see it yet. It's not here yet. You don't see it yet. But something major is coming in for you guys. You just don't see it yet. But the reason why it's definitely coming in is because it's all the hard work that you guys have put out before is coming back to you. You guys have always been the ones to give, 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 and to be a blessing to others. And now the universe is blessing you for being so kind hearted. Um, it's like a lot of you guys like friendships, um, you guys have been taken advantage of family members, relationships. It's like you guys have been cheated on, abused. Um, you guys haven't even had like, you know, parents that you can even rely on. And it's like now you guys are being blessed. It's like people have washed you just like, um, excuse me, can I have some? And it's like now it's your turn to have your cup filled. So your wishes are coming in more than you can even imagine. You don't see it yet, but it's here. So these are the messages that came in for you. Um, Capricorn. If this reading resonates, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support and I send it right back to you guys. Thank you.